Welcome to my channel, Sage of Aqua. Electromagnetic energy that is carrying a vibration. And if you didn't catch Louise Hayes' podcast on the quadruple two, she talks in depth about electromagnetic energy fields around the body and around the earth soul. I will leave a link for that podcast. Make sure you catch that one because she really back backs up what I do and she's been in the oracle game a very very long time all right so we want to look at the divine energy under the cardinal filter and on the bottom of the deck I've got five of swords okay five of swords is pretty bunky energy it's pretty confrontational so the five depicts that it whatever problems there are they are man-made and swords is about mental strain and confrontation so this is my card for mind games and as you can see there is a pretty distasteful character there pretty scary he's got bones in his beard he doesn't give a shit what anyone thinks of him he's a bit intimidating so that's what we've got here on the bottom of the deck on the door of perception the gravity door all right so i've done a pre-shuffle and i'm just going to get some bleeding energy all right so yeah that is the that is the card for justice for another five yeah see how we're getting this man-made problems energy coming out so this is to do with money this is to do with growth this is lack of growth but there's always um, hope, um, as you can see, there's a trail of strawberries there that lead to a hut that would house these two kids, but they're not seeing it, okay? So I'm getting not seeing the wood for the trees from this. Okay, so there could be someone in your life. There's some kind of Robin Hood. They just think there's some kind of Robin Hood there. Um, they obviously have cares, but with this energy on the bottom, it just sort of says to me that it's a bit of a, a Robin Hood with a slightly bad attitude here. But that's... Um, okay, so they're dwelling in the Nine of Wands. Yeah, they're the they're battler and they've got a heavy, heavy heart here. So even if they set out to do good, they are sitting in collective Five of Pentacles, which is poverty thinking and wounded warrior with the card for sort of mental fears i mean he's just pulled a tree out of the ground this 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 energy is destruction all right so i'll get that one okay so it's possible this person may have made you an offer i've got the child of spells here but they come with a lot of baggage that's a lot of baggage I've got the keeper. I've got the keeper of challenges and the weaver. So it looks like that the feminine energy is more accepting of the masculine energy. There. All right. So there is definitely some kind of block going on with this masculine energy. So somebody's blocked this person. This. Robin Hood. Robin Hood with an attitude. Robin Hood with a heavy heart. To me, that sort of lost, lost love. That's, that's a lost love opportunity there. But the follow inverted is feeling like this person either still cares. I mean, that's inverted. Whatever it is, it's done. But I feel like with the huntsman coming in here, there's some intention to right the wrongs here, perhaps in a love situation. There's some, there's some intention to right the wrongs. Yeah, could have possibly had a, had a look at themselves. I've got the justice and the judgment here. It's definitely, oh, one's just fallen. That is my card for contentment. Okay, somebody's benefited from this. It doesn't look like it's the the keeper of swords, the king of air here. Um, the feminine has benefited, yeah, but he hasn't. So it looks like it's a third party situation. 
Okay, let's just dig, dig a bit deeper. Alright, so we've definitely got lost love here. We've got someone that's a Robin Hood, might be righting the wrongs or feeling like he's righting the wrongs. I've got the justice and the judgment here. It's a little bit justice judgment overload here. There could be a little bit of self-righteousness going on. So somebody's somebody's blocking this. This could be you. You you might be blocking this, not trusting it. Somebody's not blocking it, somebody is. But it comes in a wounded warrior energy which isn't the strongest energy to come in to right the wrongs it sounds like to me that Robin Hood is the one that needs help here so yeah the um, looks like Robin Hood doesn't have a band of gypsies it's a bit of a low note yeah this offer was turned down there's an offer here has been turned down I've got two offers here Somebody's turned something down. I've got one up, one down. So there's some ambiguity as to why this person's here. Eight of boons. Yeah, it's not making much progress, this person. Eight of boons inverted is, yeah, not really stable in their life. Okay, we'll just have one more. So who is Robin Hood and why is he here amongst the divine counterpart energies? Why is he here? What is this offer? Okay, it's a lost love. Somebody screwed up about this. It could be the Keeper of Challenges. So five of pentacles in reverse means that they are trying to trying to better themselves. They're trying to so this this person is the lover that's heartbroken. And he is not content with his situation. He's thinking that because he's got no money, that that's why he's not happy. And he's taking drastic action to transform themselves into someone that is actually making money I've got five of pentacles in reverse five of cups says that he's he's definitely feeling this emotionally and yeah I've got the tower so he's just trying to um, trying to avert this crisis by doing a runner now that's just obviously their way of, of dealing with this incoming badass Robin Hood that's trying to help or level things up but is really rocking the boat big time. So this this person it's divine masculine and stunner runner. Or it could be do, to do with the legal um, justice. Uh, this person could have been nabbed. This person could have been sectioned, arrested. This person has been drastically taken off the scene. Um, I've got two male I've got two male energies here. One is completely blocking this activation. Yes, yeah, so I've got more in air energy here, so it's all um, it's all about working working out what to do yeah it's all about it's all in the head i've got solitude upside down so i had solitude in my divine luck reading um i had solitude sorry in my um calabar energy balance this guy is not in solitude this person is gone um to find support i'm getting no man is an island from this no man is an island this, this guy can't deal with this on his own. That's what I'm feeling like. So he's gone, he's drastically exited the scene. Like I'm getting just walked out the door with this one. Just walked out. They were very much um, discontented with this situation and just didn't have any means to support themselves. You know, like empty his pocket. And couldn't see the wood for the trees. So there is actually a house there. It's warm, 
but they're just doing it tough on out there for some reason. So the wind, let's have a look. So I'm just trying to balance out this energy. All right, so various currents that air of air that circulate on our planets can be gentle enough to tickle the hairs on the arms or so fierce that they destroy man-made structures as well as trees and other vegetation. Wind moves the air to circulate the atmosphere and keep it from becoming stagnant. Where there's no movement, the atmosphere feels somehow heavier. So gentle breeze help cool the land and pollinate flowers, whereas more tempestuous winds can snap trees off and stir something deep within us. More violent winds can create temporary chaos. All right, so yeah, this, this situation is fucking chaos as far as I can tell and this person has exited the scene it could be the Robin Hood the, the badass Robin Hood or it could be the divine masculine both one was inverted and the other one um, the other one was coming in with a lot of baggage it could be either one of them or both of them maybe they both uh, exited the scene the lethargy you feel is a result of a lack of activation in other words, something that stirs your senses. This could be anything from walking outdoors, feeling the breeze on your body, and inhaling different aromas that nature herself provides. All right, so the divine feminine is basically left holding a baby. She's upright, holding, you know, holding the fort here. She's dealing with like wounded warrior energy, various um, offers, offer withdrawal, offer offers there. She's dealing with someone that's, you know can't cope she's dealing with um, a masculine energy that is 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 blocking her this is a loveless situation somebody here is trying to avert a crisis it could be this guy that's walked out and um yeah i've got um i've got basically total lack of growth in this situation this is unworkable this situation um but there's something about this person that is willing to look at things in face value and trying to avert the crisis. Now, whether or not they were successful, I'm not sure. It, they may have exited the scene because things did not eventuate, or it could be the other guy that's exited the scene, or they both have exited the scene. Yeah, there's just a fair amount of complacency here. Where, sorry, despondency here. That's just like um, I'm. I'm getting the feeling like um, I'm getting the feeling like this. This situation is just completely unworkable. Totally unworkable. That's what I'm getting. Alright, I'm just gonna get one more and then I'll read the Spirit Oracle. Alright, so I'm not exactly what sure what's going on here, but there's definitely love lost, there's definitely heartbreak, there's uh, there's despondency, there's uh, people walking out left, right and centre. This situation is unworkable and the advice is just to get some fresh air because it's too, there's too much mental strain going on. All right, yeah, there's conflict. There's full-on conflict here. All right, so let's just see what the spirit oracle advice would be. <coughs> All right, so... So how can we, do I take them? Nice. How can we balance out this situation where someone has made a drastic action? I'm feeling like there were too many cooks spoiled, spoiled the broth. I've got, I've got male energy that is um, inverted, blocking. I've got some badass Robin Hood that's got baggage coming in. I've got someone that's exited the scene. I've possibly got everyone exiting the scene, apart from the Divine Feminine who seems to be holding the baby here. Holding the fort, I'm hearing, just holding the fort. She's upright, she's dealing with it. So what can be the advice for this situation? How can we balance out this drastic exit, this total despondency, this this um, this this situation where someone feels like they're not good enough uh, and is very dis malcontent? That one might try to flip forgiveness so to time to heal old wounds time to let go and forgive do not allow yourself to be a victim any longer okay so someone here's got a victim mentality for in doing so you only hurt yourself forgive and set yourself free you are eternally loved accept the love being offered and allow it to heal 
All right, so it looks like help is on the way. Uh, also, I've got here someone from the past re-emerges in your life. Give This gives you the opportunity to handle things differently than you did before. Stand firmly in your power, yet stand also in the light of love. The universe is presenting you with a fresh opportunity to clear away any lingering karma linked to this relationship. Okay, so yeah, this could be a third party situation. This could be an ex back on the scene. Um, there's definitely conflict, conflict here. Well, I've got a divine masculine that's blocking this. I've got someone that's walked out or possibly been removed from the situation. Okay, so this is a bit full on, so I'll leave it here. So everything in the universe can be measured in divine hertz frequency. Everything has a sound vibration, vibrational signature. So that's all from me. Until my next video, I hope this is helpful and see you in the next one.